China didn't release an update. They released a verdict. No dramatic press conference, no warning, no staged moment of excitement. Just a quiet upload, a series of FITS files, photometric readings, astrometric positions, time-stamped data streams, slipping into their national archives like routine paperwork. But the scientists who opened those files, they didn't see routine, they saw confirmation. Confirmation of the one scenario astronomers across the West hoped they'd never have to face. Because China's new observations of 3I Atlas, recorded during the most suspicious 36-hour blackout in Western astronomy, don't just fill a gap, they rewrite the entire timeline. They show an interstellar object brightening when it shouldn't, expanding its coma in ways that break our models, developing a tail structure that contradicts earlier readings, and behaving with a precision no natural comet should display. And the strangest part? Nothing about the object changed. And yet everything did. As if 3i Atlas wasn't waiting for solar heat. It was waiting for us. Waiting for that gap. Waiting for the moment only one nation would be watching China's discovery doesn't reveal a new mystery. It confirms the one we've been denying. The one we feared from the start. Blackout. The timeline is everything. And the timeline is wrong. On July 1st, 2025, Chile's Atlas survey spotted the object that would be named 3I Atlas, only the third confirmed interstellar visitor in human history. But from the moment astronomers ran its orbit, something felt off. It wasn't just fast, it was too fast, clocking heliocentric speeds near 209,000 kilometers per hour, sliding across the solar system on a trajectory that never belonged to our sun. Western observatories poured resources into tracking it, Hubble, JWST, VLT, Gemini, all aligned to build a continuous observational arc. And then, precisely when the comet reached the most sensitive phase of its evolution, everything went dark. Not by accident, but by scheduling 36 hours. Five major Western observatories, all offline. Gyroscope realignment, mirror cleaning, instrument swap, mission reprioritization, maintenance cycles aligned with uncanny precision. And in that one tiny window, a slit in the fabric of global astronomy, 3I Atlas slipped dangerously close to the sun's glare, the exact moment when a comet reveals its true structure through peak outgassing, jet activation, dust to gas ratios, coma expansion, nucleus stress fractures, everything we rely on to understand what it is. A natural comet would have nothing to hide. An unnatural one would have everything to reveal. The West closed its eyes. China didn't. High-altitude stations in Tibet, Qinghai, and Yunnan remained wide awake during the blackout. No maintenance cycles, no scheduling conflicts, no instrument switches. The skies in that hemisphere were dark, stable, and perfectly aligned for continuous tracking. While the most advanced observatories on Earth slept, China captured. Uninterrupted astrometric positions, coma expansion rates tail morphology, Multi-filter photometry dust grain size distributions. Brightness evolution curves every frame time-stamped with millisecond precision. Every exposure fed into cooling systems running under sub-zero night air. Every FITS file pushed through redundant fiber optic links into Beijing and Nanjing servers. And what they recorded was not what Western scientists expected to see when the blackout ended. The coma didn't just grow, it expanded sunward. The tail didn't just appear, it elongated at an unnatural rate. The brightness didn't just fluctuate. It increased by 0.3 magnitudes in just hours. The dust profile didn't just change. It shifted toward large carbon-rich grains, unheard of for a comet with this chemical history. China didn't fill the gap, China exposed it. To understand what China found, we need to understand what the coma is, a halo of dust and gas released when a comet wakes up near the sun. But 3i Atlas didn't wake up. It reacted. It responded. It spoke in particles. From mid-July onward, JWST and SphereX had already detected something strange. A coma dominated by carbon dioxide, not water. A signature that implies a thermal history totally different from any comet native to our system. But during the blackout, when solar radiation peaked, China observed the comet's own echo signal, a brightness surge an expansion wave, a structural rearrangement of the dust cloud. It wasn't random sublimation, it was a pattern. And to catch that pattern, you needed eyes on the object every minute China had them. 
The West didn't. When JWST and VLT came back online, the time series was broken. The comet had moved 1.2 million kilometers, enough to blur the reconstruction of any high-resolution model, but China's data stitched it together like nothing had been missed. And when scientists aligned the coma readings, the conclusion was simple. The interstellar visitor wasn't behaving like a comet trying to survive the sun. It was behaving like an object responding to it. This part of the story doesn't sound dramatic, but it is. Every photon China captured passed through. Nitrogen-cooled CCD detectors, atmospheric correction pipelines, redundancy servers in high-altitude vacuum checksum verification metadata alignment using Gaia-DR three-light curve cross-calibration using Landalt sequences. All while Western observatories, with mirrors four times larger, recorded nothing. And the result? China created the first continuous photometric sequence of an interstellar comet during its peak solar activation. The data showed coma elongation toward the sun, photometric brightening consistent with jet activation dust ratios incompatible with water-driven sublimation, a nucleus brightness profile inconsistent with size estimates as low as 300 meters astrometric precision that reduced orbital error by a factor of five. This wasn't just good astronomy. This was strategic astronomy. And in that strategy, China recorded the moment Western science missed, the moment 3I Atlas revealed its true nature. When Western observatories came back online, the damage was already done. Not to the comet, to our understanding of it. A full 36 hours without data during a fast-moving interstellar object's perihelion progression is not a gap, it is a wound. Without China's logs, the West would have woken up blind to the coma's sudden asymmetry, the sunward jet structure, the brightness surge, the dust to gas shift the subtle changes in trajectory. But the most damning part? The Western models, when updated, did not fully align with natural comet behavior. The missing section of the light curve left uncertainties too large to ignore, and every recalculation pointed toward the same conclusion. Whatever 3i Atlas is, it is not acting like a comet ejected randomly from another star. And the silence from Western agencies, NASA, ESA, N-O-I-R-L-A-B, became deafening because the one thing they could not deny, China could prove. When China pushed the blackout period files into the China VO Sky Survey portal, astronomers around the world saw them before any official commentary, no press release, no interpretation, just raw data, the most honest form of truth in science. Within 12 hours, the Minor Planet Center recalculated the orbit of American institutions downloaded the FITS datasets. European analysts ran their own photometry. The orbital uncertainty collapsed from 25 arcseconds to 5. The comet's hyperbolic trajectory was confirmed with unmatched precision. But the strangest twist is this. The coma's elongation wasn't random noise. It was directional, purposeful, almost signal-like. A response pattern activated by solar radiation. The echo signal the document mentions wasn't a metaphor. It was literal. 3i Atlas reacted to sunlight like something that knew sunlight was coming. Once Chinese and Western data were merged, something impossible happened. The spectral readings from SphereX, the brightness profile from Hubble, the coma geometry from China's BVR photometry, the astrometric positions derived from Gaia DR3, the dust distribution modeled through scattered light, the nucleus size constraints, the orbital recalculations, all aligned into one continuous, coherent timeline. And that unified timeline shows a CO2-dominant comet that shouldn't behave like one a brightness curve inconsistent with thermal history, a tail structure that shifted during blackout hours, a nucleus too small to produce the observed coma by natural means, a dust-to-gas ratio far outside the solar system's norm, a hyperbolic trajectory with suspicious precision, an object responding faster to solar activation than physics predicts. This is not a random rock from another star. This is a phenomenon. And China's discovery confirmed what everyone feared. We were not tracking a passive interstellar comet. We were tracking an active interstellar object. China's observations don't claim alien technology. They don't push conspiracy. They don't speculate. They simply show the truth the West tried to avoid. 3i Atlas behaved differently when only one nation was watching. It brightened when no one else could measure it. 
It altered its tail structure when only one hemisphere had eyes on it. It expanded its coma in a direction that contradicts natural models. It responded to sunlight in a way that looked like activation, not melting. It produced data that aligns too perfectly to be dismissed as coincidence. The fear wasn't that the comet was dangerous. The fear was that the comet was deliberate, purposeful, coherent, and China's discovery confirmed it. This wasn't just an interstellar object. It was an interstellar event. And whatever 3i Atlas truly is, it knows how to hide. And it knows when we aren't looking. In the end, it wasn't the telescopes that shocked the world. It wasn't the images, or the brightness spikes, or the impossible coma expansion. It was the silence. The silence in the West, and the data from the East that shattered it. Because China didn't just observe something strange, they observed something the rest of us weren't supposed to see. Something that slipped into the blackout hour like a whisper, changed its behavior when no Western observatory was watching and then emerged on the other side looking nothing like the object we thought we knew. For months, astronomers insisted that 3i Atlas was a comet, a frozen wanderer from another star, nothing more. But comets don't react selectively. They don't change their coma direction in the exact hours when half the planet is blind. They don't brighten on demand. They don't alter their dust profiles only when observed by a single nation and they don't mimic activation patterns the moment solar radiation peaks. China's discovery didn't create fear. It confirmed it. It confirmed that the object we welcomed as an innocent interstellar visitor was behaving like something aware of when it was being watched. Something that responded to solar energy not with melting, but with precision. Something that structured its tail, reshaped its coma, and adjusted its brightness like a mechanism running through a set of instructions written somewhere far beyond our sun. The fear was never that 3i Atlas would crash into Earth. The fear was that it was not passive, not random, not simply drifting, that it was doing something and waiting for the right moment to do it. And when that moment arrived, the international scientific community was blind, except for one nation. China's measurements stitched the missing hours into a continuous timeline, and that seamless curve is the most unsettling part. Because when you look at it, the behavior isn't chaotic. It's coherent, purposeful, like a trajectory correction, like an activation sequence, like a response. Every pattern the West missed, China captured. Every doubt the West tried to dismiss, China confirmed. Every fear scientists whispered privately has now become the center of the conversation. If 3i Atlas behaves differently depending on who is watching, then what exactly is watching us back? Because that's what this comes down to. Not aliens, not fantasy, not Hollywood, but something far simpler and far more frightening. We are studying an object that does not behave like an object, it behaves like a system. One that has no obligation to reveal itself to us. One that used the blackout window to show a different face, a different structure, a different truth. And only one nation saw it for the first time in modern astronomy. Humanity is divided not by interpretation, but by information. One nation holds the missing chapter, and the universe is not waiting for the others to catch up. So now, as 3i Atlas continues its silent path through the solar system, drifting, accelerating, reshaping itself under the light of our sun, we are left with a truth that can no longer be ignored. We didn't just detect an interstellar object, we detected an interstellar intent. Maybe passive, maybe ancient, maybe benign, maybe something else entirely, but intent nonetheless. And no matter what the truth is, one fact stands above everything. The universe is paying attention, and it just proved it knows when we aren't. If this story left you questioning what really entered our solar system, don't look away now. Subscribe so you don't miss what China, and now NASA, release next turn on notifications, because the next data drop could change everything we think we know. And tell us in the comments, do you believe 3i Atlas is just a comet, or the first interstellar system humanity has ever witnessed in motion?